I want to ask the question that I think everyone has been asking all week or maybe in the past month. What in the world is going on at Dwindle Distribution? A few weeks ago, we saw Bill Weiss step off the Madness team as well as pretty much every other rider on the Madness team. And then for Valentine's Day, we saw this post from Louis Barletta. It said he's stepping off the team and it seems like pretty much the rest of the Enjoy team is leaving as well. And I look back later and it looks like the last few riders on the Almost team are leaving. What is going on at Dwindle Distribution? I want to give you my thoughts and the reason why Louis Barletta left a little bit later in this video. But if you don't know anything about the history of Enjoy Skateboards, I'd love to give you just a little crash course. Enjoy Skateboards was started in 2000. The company was founded by professional skateboarders Mark Johnson and Rodney Mullen. Rodney Mullen is considered to be one of the most influential skateboarders in the history of skateboarding. Since its inception, Enjoy has become known for its irrelevant humor and distinctive graphics. Mark Johnson ended up leaving Enjoy after three years. His departure from Enjoy was a significant loss for the brand as he's widely regarded as one of the best skateboarders of his generation and had helped to establish Enjoy as a major player in the skateboard industry. Shortly after, Rodney Mullen left in 2004 and started Almost Skateboards alongside his good friend, Day One Song. MJ actually decided to give the company over to Matt Eversall. Enjoy has continued to thrive in the years since their departure and remains one of the most popular and respected skateboard brands in the world, until recently when everything decided to blow up. Enjoy has a reputation for producing creative and memorable ads that often feature irrelevant humor and a distinctive graphic style. Not only did Enjoy have really cool ads, but they had amazing videos. Two of Enjoy's most well-known and highly regarded videos are Number one, Bag of Suck. This was one of Enjoy's first videos and it's widely regarded as a classic. It features standout parts from Enjoy's riders like Jerry Sue, Louis Barletta, and Caswell Berry, as well as some of the brand's most memorable and iconic graphics. This video won Trans World Video of the Year and Louis Barletta even won Trans World's Video Part of the Year. Number two, Oververt. Enjoy's most recent full length film is also one of its most ambitious. It's filmed by world-renowned videographer Roger Bagley, who you more than likely know from the Nine Club. Oberberg features an all-star Enjoy team skating with some of the gnarliest spots. This video also showcases the brand's distinctive sense of humor with skits and interstitials that add to the overall experience. These are the two videos that I can really look back and see Enjoy's culture and personality shine through. Not only was Enjoy really clever with their ads and magazines, they also had some incredible covers by a lot of different riders. The Enjoy Skateboards team also ended up winning King of the Road while it was being run by Vice, which helped get a lot more eyes on Enjoy Skateboards as a brand. Enjoy Skateboards had a lot of very unique board graphics. I truly believe that some of the best years of Enjoy is when it was being run by Louis Barletta. He fully believed, had the culture, and had the same mindset that the brand and the riders had as well. One of the things I know about Enjoy Skateboards is it was a really rad company. They had their own flavor, they had their own culture, and it was all about just having fun. You could see Louis Barletta really loved and enjoyed the culture that they had set up, and so it definitely came to a shock when on Valentine's Day I read this post from Louis Barletta. On Tuesday, Louis posted an enjoy board that was broken in half and then made into a heart. His caption reads, Goodbye, enjoy. Another broken heart on Valentine's Day. I'm so sorry for leaving you. There were times I sacrificed everything for you. I loved you more than life. Enjoy was my life and what a life it has been. I wouldn't trade what we had together for anything. I've learned so much on our journey. I'll always cherish the memories of seeing the kids grow into adults and achieving their dreams. I'll never forget the sorrow of losing team riders and loved ones passing away. I'm so thankful for you for creating videos and ads that will forever immortalize them and embody their spirit and passion forever. I'm so thankful that we can relive these memories and that they will live on forever in all these enjoy videos. Even though we are in a different place now, I am forever blessed to be able to look back and know even through the tough times, we tried our best to stay true to what the brand was about, friendship and having fun. There will forever be a scar in my heart reminding me of you. But I have to believe that my heart is now so much bigger and more forgiving because of the wonderful time we spend together. Who knows, maybe we too can someday be like Ben and J-Lo. I must say goodbye as I pour myself a glass of red wine and slip my weary body into a nice warm bubbly tub to soothe my aching bones and drown my sorrows. I will say even in Louis' farewell note, you can see the enjoy culture and the style of the brand, even through his farewell letter. I think I speak for everyone that says when we saw that post, we were deeply saddened. And the only thing that made it worse was to see every other team rider posting on their social medias that they were stepping off the team as well. So why does this keep happening? Why does it seem like all these companies under dwindle, their riders start to dwindle away? 
Well, if you look back, you can kind of see not too long ago, an investment company called Bravo Sports ended up purchasing Dwindle Distribution. And what happens when a corporate company comes in to a skateboard run industry, they don't recognize what they have to do or what the culture is in skateboarding. And so they are way more fixated on what marketing looks like, where their dollars are going, and how to turn a profit in that company as well. Skateboarding is so unique because we have professional skateboarders that help market and push the brand. But from the corporate side of things, they're not thinking about that. They're not thinking about the culture. They're thinking about how do I get my money worth and how do I make this company do really well? And that's why we saw the firing of two of the main people over there dwindle, Bill Weiss and Bob Boyle. Ever since then, it seems like the culture there has begun to shift. And if people aren't getting laid off, I think they're seeing the writing on the wall and they're deciding to go their separate ways. It is super sad to see a lot of these people leaving because like for me, when I look back at the history of Enjoy and I think about all the cool things that they've done, I honestly thought they were a company that would always be there. There will always be a company that's representing fun and friendship and really just not taking anything too seriously, but keeping skateboarding fun at the root because that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be complete fun. And so I can see when a corporate person steps in, they don't want to just have fun. They want to make some money. And so that's why I think we're seeing all these people leave and get laid off. When a corporate company comes into a skateboard culture, it never seems to work and it never seems to mix. You have to have someone that knows skateboarding at the helm of the brand and the organization so that it continues to keep being pushed out into the culture of skateboarding and doing well. All right, so I wanna know your thoughts. Obviously, we're in a new world where if Louis Barletta wanted to, if Bill Weiss wanted to, they could start their own companies right here now. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think there's going to be a shift at Dwindle? Do you think they're going to start their own companies? Comment down below. I would love to just start that conversation. Kind of dream and just see what, what do you think it is that they're going to do? Also, comment down below. I would love to hear what do you think about the other companies that are there? I know Monarch's there. I know Blind is there. There are a few other companies that are in Dwindle distribution. Do you think they're going to end up making it? Do you think we're going to see more people get laid off? Comment that down below too. I'm also going to put a link in my bio to Enjoy's website and then a link to purchase some Enjoy boards because I don't I don't know if they're out of business or if the team riders are just leaving. But I know for sure, at least for me, if they are going out of business, I'm gonna make sure that I purchase an Enjoy board just to hang up back here. I think it'd be so cool to have one. I don't know if you're making them anymore. So honestly, I wanna get one to put up there. If you're looking for one, link down below. Make sure you go to your skate shop first. But if you don't have a skate shop or they're out because they're not making them, I've got a link down below where you can get some of those boards just to hang up as some memorabilia for all the incredible things that Enjoy Skateboards has ever done. Hey, well, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a little bit different video than what I put out, but it was just something that I saw that was unique and I wanted to start the conversation around that. Uh, one of the things I love about Enjoy Skateboards is they are all about having fun with your friends. If you are looking for a place to go and have fun with your friends, check out these videos right here for some Airbnbs or some of the best skate parks in the US.